Hi and welcome back to my writing studio. Today I have a question for myself. What was I thinking? Why didn't I see this coming? A lot has changed since I last saw you and I want to share it with you but I don't know how much or when can I share them. If you're new here, hi, I'm Pooja. I'm an indie author, a self-published author and on this channel I share my experiences on writing, self-publishing and productivity. How I actually make the time for all this. So click subscribe to follow my unpredictable writing and publishing journey. It's already 10.30 and I've had a usual morning, you know, getting house in order, doing the morning rituals. I did get some time to work, so I spent it on replying to emails. And now I have some errands to do, so I'll quickly do that and come back and catch you up. <laughs> a little bit of time before I have to go back and pick something up. So I thought I'll ask you something. It's been about six months since I moved to this new area and I haven't had the chance to check out the local library over here. For a long time it was closed but now it's open and they're allowing you to come in person to check out books and stuff. So I was wondering if you'd be interested in seeing a local library over here. Let me know in the comments below. back at my desk and I have a long list of to do but I thought I'll catch you up on what happened what changed since the last time I saw you in one of the vlogs I mentioned that I am working on a project and I'm waiting on a green light to make bigger progress on that and I was expecting all that to happen in October but for the better or for worse, it has happened already, end of June, early July. I heard about it last week and what does that mean? It means that everything that I've been doing so far now has a very strict deadline. All the books that I'm writing, all the other projects that I've been working on, everything needs to happen and happen quickly. Which means the deadline for all my writing projects has been bumped up. It's getting so overwhelming because I'm not able to put in as many hours as I would like to at this point of time. At the same time, I want to work on things. I want to work on my book, I want to work on my publishing, all those things. That's what is happening and on this channel you can now expect a little more content on self-publishing which I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that there hasn't been a lot of new content about the self-publishing aspect. I'm hoping that's going to change very soon now. So consider subscribing if you haven't already because there's a lot of self-publishing content that's going to start happening now. Right now I'm trying to get my website in order so that's going to take priority right now. Once my website is sorted then the next thing would be getting my newsletter in order which I've been working on. I say I've been working on but I haven't actively done anything at least in the past month. So these two things have to happen and have to happen fairly quickly and on the back end there's a whole lot of things happening. Uh, I have to schedule a meeting with a CA over here they call it CPA so I have to schedule a meeting with one of them, find someone who can help me out with the, all the tax and everything. But let me now share with you my notes on Act 2 of writing a romance novel. All these are my notes. But if you need more help, I recommend the writing course that my notes are based on. I'll link that in the description section. So the first half of Act 2, we have to show that whatever flaw that the protagonist has and whatever problem that she or he has found themselves in. Now in this act, they are going to start acting on fixing that. They are going to take some action. They are going to make something happen which they were not doing in the first act. But still in the, in the first half of act two, they are doing everything that they think they want 
and not necessarily what they need to overcome whatever flaws that they have or whatever insecurities that they have so in my story that's what is happening right now my protagonist thinks that she needs something but actually and she is working towards getting that but actually that's not what will help her in the in the grand scheme of things so i'm building that aspect also in the first act i was writing about how her world is as it is at that point but after the problem that she faced after that everything has changed around her and she has to deal with that so i have to show those aspects how her surrounding has changed how her relationships have changed so i have to show that aspect of it as well so that is what the first part of act 2 is of course there's a little bit more on it and i'll get into that but this is the beginning of getting into getting out of act 1 and getting into act 2 the next thing that i have in my outline is to introduce the b story and here in the earlier uh, in the act 1 video i mentioned that my character needs to learn some lessons and uh, the b story uh, and the character in the b story kind of introduces introduces that theme or uh, not exactly introduce it but they are the person who are going to get the main character to get to the point where they learn the lesson where they learn the theme where they learn what really matters so that plot point is what i'll be working on once i have the first once i've introduced once i've moved from act 1 into act 2 and i have shown a little bit of what's happening around and how things have changed and all those things so i can now introduce the b story over here now i'm writing this novel as a standalone but my goal is to write it in a universe of a few characters and eventually i want to write different books with those other characters as the lead so a lot of um, what what my intention is to have one of these characters play as uh, as a cast of the b role a b story plotline i want to have that character help the main character eventually reach to that theme and learn that lesson but also introduce some flaws in that b character so that when i work on the next story i have kind of set that up in a way so that readers who are probably coming from this book into the next book would enjoy that little reference and at the same time i don't want it to have too much dependency on this book so that if someone picks up second book instead of first book i mean they can read it out of order is what i'm aiming for and so far this is what i have and of course a lot of uh, uh, the fun things will also happen and a little bit of quirks and um, getting into situations that reveal how different the character's life would be if uh, if they pursue what they're pursuing so i'm going to be working on all that in act 2 i was hoping to be more ahead in the story but that that has not happened because i didn't get a lot done last week as far as this novel goes so i'm a little behind but i hope to catch up over the weekend i'm trying to clear my calendar up so that i can put in a few extra hours writing usually i kind of aim for 2 hours a day for writing i'm hoping to double that so that i can catch up on all the time that i've missed this past week so that was about 
act two of my novel i hope this was helpful i'll get back to my writing now i have a few things to do before i can sit down and write so i'll get on to that but if you need help with your writing story idea outline i'll pop up a playlist that i created for you up here and if you need help with self-publishing i have over 50 videos where i share my process my experience with self-publishing i'll pop that up here for you as well as i'll link it in the description section and i'll see you in the next one